Welcome back friends with another movie reaction. Today we are watching The Lion King 1.5 and I revisited the first movie not too long ago for the first time in nearly 30 years. Check out that reaction video but I heard this is actually a very good Disney sequel. I think the only Disney sequel I've seen so far is Frozen 2 and I really like that much much more than the first Frozen movie. Not expecting the same kind of feel here, but people on Patreon were saying this and the second movie are both really, really good. We're doing this a bit of out of order though, because we're going to go chronologically and not by release date order. And yeah, I've seen the poster art for this one with Timon lifting Pumbaa up into the air on Pride Rock. Seems like it'll be a very fun and silly film, so let's check this out. Full reactions on Patreon, leave a like, and let's get started. <laughs> same beginning. Well, enough of that. What? Fast forwarding. Oh, what are you doing? I'm fast forwarding to the part where we come in. Then why don't we tell them our story? <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy, do we get to see where you grew up? Yeah, Pumba, but it ain't pretty. Why does Pride Rock look a little different? I don't know. Nope. We're zooming out real far. What was that? What was what? What was that? Oh boy. That's a fun little song. Come on! Aww. Dig a tunnel. Uncle Max, relax. Have you seen Timon? There's no sign of Timon's handiwork anywhere! Oh. Timon buried us alive! <laughs> hey, everybody! Aww. What's so bad about dreaming of a better home? I want you get to live on something. Pride Rock eventually. Look, Timon. On, look. Everything the light touches look is not our domain. <laughs> Everything the light touches belongs to someone else. <laughs> That's it, my son on sentry duty. Sentry Come duty. On. The sentry. Listen, oh boy. it's outside, up in the breeze, under the wide open sky. Isn't that what you want? Or maybe you would rather have him go back on the digging crew. No! Scurry, sniff. Flinch. <laughs> Scurry, sniff, flinch. Scurry, sniff, flinch. <laughs> and live at a new altitude. I'm gonna <laughs> reach for the stars to remind me that me a cat. Everyone's gonna die. Food. I've always been seen as the ultimate prey, but now my status ain't so quo. Our dream sublime. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hyenas! Get underground. Yoink. Yoink. Get in <laughs> here. Everybody's <gasps> Max. Where's Uncle Max? The hyenas are really bad hunters, aren't they? What? For this fall. Of course, hey, what the heck? What's going on? Everybody um, <laughs> sitting on the remote. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh. I flinched when I should have scurried. No one got eaten. All right, so I made a teensy mistake. Like this is first day on the job. I did song on sentry duty before. <laughs> I'm sure we're all going to laugh about this someday. Trust me. I did trust you. I have to find my place. But it isn't here. Yes, it is. We just haven't found it yet. But we will. Oh, here's an idea. You can learn Not a with trick. the hair already. Maybe he can help them find a better place in Simba's land. Well, I hope land. you find what you're looking for, honey. Be careful. I will. <laughs> what? Which way should I go? That depends on what you see. Hey! How convenient. Enter omniscient monkey right on you. <laughs> omniscient. Well, you know what they say? Life without worry. You seek Hakuna Matata. Oh. Hakuna Matata. He taught him Hakuna Matata. Worries. Perfect. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello? Uh. 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 <laughs> They're both equally freaked out. I'm not gonna eat you. 
What? Then why were you stalking me? Well, gee, I saw you go by and I figured a little fella like you shouldn't be out here all alone. Hey. Aww. What about you? You're all alone. Yeah, I drive almost everyone away. People see me coming and they run for cover. They can't get out <laughs> of the way fast enough. It's like you have this, this special power. Special power? <laughs> Aww. Well, it's pretty powerful. You want me to come with you? <laughs> Do you see any other big lovable chunk of warthog here? Put him there, acquaintance. I'm Timon. Pumba! No, really. Pumba. At last, things <laughs> were looking up. Uh, I had the sun on my shoulders, the wind at my heels, a song in my heart. No. Nope. Oh, baby, we're almost there. I think we're a little late. Well, maybe you're supposed to look beyond the big pointy rock. Maybe I'm supposed to look beyond the big pointy rock. All his ideas what come from Pumba. Maybe we better go around. Don't you know? And it's just in the background. Distance between me and my dream home is a straight line. Uh oh. <clears throat> Timon, there's something I gotta tell you. Pass. IBS. It'll pass. IBS. Oh boy. <laughs> they're bowing, sure they're bowing. <laughs> so most of the animals weren't even bowing, they just like f fainted. So I guess that's your special power, huh? What a weapon! There's no law that says you have to go. I mean if you want. Oh, great. Nope. I already made up two beds. Aww. One for you and one for me. <laughs> Don't take the big one, Timon. <laughs> if it fits, I sit. That's so much later in the movie, though, this song. Oh, that's why it tumbled? <laughs> Once came across a place that might be just what you're looking for. Spectacular waterfalls set in a lush tropical oasis. Forget it, Pumper. I'm a realist. And I'm not gonna go chase it after some. That's where you wound up. I'll tell you how I know. With the mm. You wanna stay in the elephant graveyard? This is home, sweet home, baby. No, it's not. Home! <laughs> Steve! <laughs> oh, <laughs> All the hyenas. All of them. <laughs> They're just... Oh no, we're gonna see the trample. Uh, stampede! Shall we run for our lives? <laughs> he said that in such a calm manner. Shall we run for our lives? Uh, Pumba? Question. Is it possible to fall off the edge of the earth? Uh, technically, <laughs> no. The Earth is round like a sphere, Timon. Pretty strong evidence to the contrary. Sure, go ahead. Be right back. <sighs> what is on his hands? Okay, I got the jumbo, so we could share. Timon's <laughs> <laughs> holding on for, li for his life. Stop being so dramatic. But you can't give up. We still haven't found our dream home. Forget it, Pumper. I don't have a home. You don't? What happened? Are you lost? <laughs> Why, you're all alone in this big, empty world? Oh! Let's be alone together. Um, you're the only friend I've ever had. Friend! He said it, friend! You mean? Aww. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Can we just do Pumba's ideas now? We know that's where you wind up anyway. Just listen to your friend. Why do we ever listen to that stupid monkey? I think maybe you're giving up too soon, Timon. Beyond what you see. Huh? Oh, forget about your place. No, this Get is it. What I found. Talk about beyond what you see. Pumba. That's a wonderful phrase. It had this rhythm. 
Hakuna. Hakuna no. <laughs> Hatuna Furtada? Hatuna Furtada? Okay. How can you dance at a time like this? I'm dying here. Sorry about that, pal. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. He knows it. No worries. Yeah. Let's do a sing along. Oh, you tease. I, I love karaoke. I'm there. Hakuna <laughs> Matata. Go save Simba together. Ah, <laughs> uh, why not? One more run won't change our lives. Rescuing Simba was a cinch. Then came the really scary part. Scary part. Parenthood. Parent. Uh, Jamal! Oh. Oh. I gotta go. Go? Go? Go where? You know, go. To yeah. the bathroom? Oh, go? Why didn't you say so? Uh oh. Uh oh. One, two, nice. Three. Peppa, I'll save you. <laughs> He's fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, let what him have sleep. You got against the concept of a good night's sleep, huh? Actually, I, uh, I had a bad dream. Oh, oh, well, uh, come sleep together with us. Why don't you sleep over here with us? Me Pumba Soup Pumba. Oh, Me Pumba right. Soup Pumba. Oh, that looks a little weird without the full mane. Watch where you aim that morning breath. Pumba, who holds the record for the world's longest bug belch? Uh, that would be Simba. Hail slurping. Oh, He's sweating so much. Uh, nobody. We never nobody. had a snail eating contest before. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Crips. I told you this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I never got the idea that they were his parents, though. A little boy I carried. <laughs> We could have gone on like that forever, except for one teeny weeny little thing we forgot Nala. to count on. Ooh. Bumba, we can't let them feel the love tonight. Yeah, they definitely felt it tonight. It's like a spy song. What the heck? Oh boy. <laughs> oh. This is so ridiculous. You just made them tumble on top of each other. Oh, they got launched. He's a goner. Maybe not. You never give up, do you? Look! You don't even know what I've been through. I would if you just tell me. We split him up! No, you didn't. And uh, that's a good thing. Hmm. Ooh, let's Wait, go, what? Pumper. I think the storm's coming to a head. Oh my god, you're about to miss something huge! Alright. <laughs> uh, safe at last, pal. Simba's the rightful king, but after he disappeared, Scar proclaimed himself the king and formed an alliance with the hyenas. Poor Simba! The treachery! The villainy! Oh, don't you get it? Simba needs us! Leave Hakuna Matata to someone who appreciates it. But Timon, it's not really Hakuna Matata without Simba. Nothing's changed here. We had Hakuna Matata before Simba, and we've still got it now. We gotta go help our friend, Timon. What happened to friends stick together to the end, huh? 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 I was about to ask you the same Ooh. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. You missed the Hakuna. bubbles. How many days did you? What did it take for you to actually decide to go? You, no, Rafiki. Don't, no, don't say a word. I know what you're gonna say. Did you find Hakuna Matata? <laughs> yes, I did. So, if you're so happy, why do you look so miserable? Miserable, you say? <laughs> he I seems fed up. Oh, I don't know. Uh, my Hakuna Matata went with them. Would you mind smacking him? 
This is so funny. It's exactly like the original movie, except for it's Pumbaa running. He's moved like this much. How did you catch up so fast? Friends stick together to the end. <gasps> Why are you pausing? What was with the running? If you can call that running. I was giving you time to catch up. <laughs> Pumba, this could be our finest hour. Wow! If you're hungry for a <laughs> juicy meat. Smells like victory. I love the smell of Pumba in the morning. Pumba in the morning. Hey, 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 move your tush, honey. Oh, hey. Ma, Uncle Max? Look, there's Simba, and that must be his uncle Scar. Oh, good. They're talking things out, which is how it should be. You know, I have a feeling everything's gonna be just. He's Whoa. about to. On the other hand, <laughs> you're gonna dig a trap. We're gonna need, dare I say it, tunnels. Lots and lots of tunnels. <laughs> what do you call a hyena with half a brain? <laughs> it beats me, Timon. What? Gifted. Ooh. <laughs> He's laughing. I think we got their attention. Not yet. Oh. What are you doing? Shenzi Marie Predatora Valdetta Jagalina Hyena. Would you do me the honor of becoming my bride? What? Ooh. Now? Sure. Yes. Oh. Now, Max. Now. Hyenas in the hole. <laughs> oh, we got stuck. Timon, it's up to you. I need help. It didn't work. Hey, it works for me. You've been training for this for this your entire life. Timon, no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He's dead, or worse. We, we gotta find him. We've gotta find him. It's okay, Ma. Oh, oh. please, it is not okay. Don't Son. The hero. The hero. Don't touch his hair. No, do it. Do it. You missed a spot. Aww. Aww. I couldn't have done it without you guys. That's our boy. <laughs> oh, I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh. oh. Can we watch it again? Umba, we just saw it. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> hey. <gasps> you didn't tell me you were watching the movie. Oh, no. Hey, I brought extra butter. Hey, you guys are butter. watching the movie? <laughs> no, Simba's here. Any story worth telling is worth telling twice. <laughs> hey, Mickey. What the? Oh, excuse me. What? Excuse me. Watch <laughs> it. Oh. You can leave. You already saw the movie. Ow. Is that Mowgli? <laughs> That's okay, pretty great. Okay, buddy, you win. That was a lot of fun. There's a lot of heart in this movie because of obviously the original movie being such a big part of this. But then there's so much good, so much good humor here as well. It's so funny to see some like very very iconic moments just in the background, unacknowledged by Timon and Pumbaa. That was really dumb and fun at the same time. Once I saw the movie poster with Timon holding Pumbaa up on Pride Rock, I knew this was going to be a weird and wacky film, and it definitely was. And the original movie is held up with such reverence. There were definitely silly moments there, but for this movie to poke so much fun at it while not having it be cringe or overdone was really to its credit. And like the whole movie focuses so much on Timon and Pumbaa, and in the first movie they were just the comic relief characters, so there's a way this could have been done that would have just been too much. But I think they did it just right, they dove deeper into the depths of these characters, not too much, but just enough to give this movie an emotional hook. And to have them watching the movie and trying to hold in how emotional they were getting was really great as well. And yet Timon's backstory is a little extra to get us invested. He felt so out of place with all the other meerkats, and he kind of makes a mess of things no matter what he does. And he's just bored by what little there is on offer with uh, for meerkats in this life. There must be more than this provincial life, right? And then he leaves to find something new. Uh, his mom didn't want to let him go. She loves him, but also supports him when he, she sees that it's what he wants and that it's what's best for him. And it's a really sweet relationship they share. And, oh yeah, it's kind of revealed to us that his family is Jewish. Like, his mom called him a mashugana, which is the Yiddish word for crazy. That's really funny because they're in Africa, but anyway. 
Uh, eventually, he runs into Pumbaa, and they were just freaking out over each other, like, so, so much, just yelling and freaking out. And poor Pumbaa drives everybody away with his farts. He's got, like, one joke about him, and it's just funny no matter how many times it's told. And the songs in this movie were really catchy. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. And, yeah, they reuse a lot of songs from the first movie, of course, because we're there to re-witness a lot of the same events, just from Timon and Pumbaa's perspective. And, yeah, it's great to see them present for such big moments. And yeah, Rafiki holding up Simba at the top of Pride Rock for such a long time while Timon and Pumbaa are just talking and they don't even care about what's happening. And then yeah, the very next day, Simba's singing about wanting to be king. It's a spin-off movie. I get they're taking creative liberties and it's just funny though. Uh, very entertaining. And also, seeing them try to break up Simba and Nala was so sad and funny at the same time. Like they didn't want to lose their friend, but they should also want the best for him. And actually, they don't see him so much as a friend. They see Simba as their son, which... I did not get from the first movie, but it's actually really sweet. And also, like, Simba, you're a lion. How is a meerkat going to help you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? Like, I don't understand. But yeah, Simba was still super young back then, and, I mean, he had his parents back then before to get him to do everyday things. So I get him trying to rely on Timon and Pumbaa. Just funny that he has some parental guidance from, like, the comedic relief in the first movie. And it was really see sweet seeing Timon constantly getting up in the middle of the night. And Simba having really bad dreams because of probably what happened to his dad. Being comforted by his two parental figures. And yeah, really, really enjoyed that. And yeah, Rafiki being such a big part of the movie is great as well. Because I feel like we didn't see enough of him in the first movie. I feel like we might have seen more of him in this movie than the last one, actually. And yeah, I loved him in the first one. And yeah, he's just the passing baboon who just gives off advice to everybody. And it's really nice. And yeah, like the scene with Nala explaining Simba's story to Timon and Pumbaa and them just being so lost, that long pause was just hilarious. Not too much more to talk about with this movie since we know most of the plot points already and this was more of a let's see this from a different point of view. But yeah, like the rest of the Disney movie people coming into the theater at the end to watch the movie again, very amusing and it was fun pointing out who was coming in who was going. But yeah, I'm going to give this movie an 8. I think it was a good time and it was a good length for this kind of movie where we already know the big story beats. But yeah, had a good time with the humor, and it was nice seeing our characters in different contexts. But yeah, thanks for watching, friends. Hope you enjoyed this. Full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.